The following video is brought to you in part by the amazing Patreon producers you see before you. If you'd like to show your support, you can do so at patreon.com slash 616 entertainment. Your support means the world to me, and I love you so much. Now let's get to it. I'm the inimitable Craig Cheeseburger, and you're watching Clueless Combat. Craig, I'm going to show you 10 Mortal Kombat characters. You're going to tell me who they are, what they do, and how they fit into the story. When's the last time you played Mortal Kombat game? Oh, brother. Been a minute. Are you ready for number one? Give me at it, num. Johnny Cage? It's Johnny Cage, isn't it? He's got sunglasses? It's gotta be Johnny Cage. What does he do? Uh, he's an actor. And a promotional... If in Hollywood, he he's a big deal. He makes money. His special move is what I call signing the contract. He t rolls up his sock real high because he doesn't want to injure his shins. And he, he gives you one of these. Hurts. That's uh, Melina or Katana. I like Melina. It sounds better. Melina has been in the game a long time. Not much else to say. <laughs> That's, she's experienced. She's a veteran. Oh, and the story. Johnny Quest hired her. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, from then on, she was she just, she's been around. But she's good at fighting, though, so she keeps her around. So Melina's special move is the Milan spin kick. She learned it in Milan. That's where Johnny Quest picked her, picked her up. She bakes the cookies, the Milano cookies, eats them, potassium levels go up through the roof, and she just starts, it's actually uncontrollable in her body. Mm. The potassium swings down to the feet, and it centrifugally... <laughs> she kicks him. Reptile? Because he's green? That Ish. guy's green? His, he's got green globes in his hands. All right, does that make him green? He makes him associated with green. Okay. Well, his hands look like dum-dums. <laughs> he came from the factory. Yeah. He's got access to a lot of machinery at the factory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what he does is he takes the keys home, he always takes the keys home because he's got to lock up the back door and the front door. But this third key opens the machine that he can fit in his pocket. It's really deadly. It used, he sprays the, fragrance of the dum-dums with it, but he can also use it to spray poison. Reptile fits into the story like a, <laughs> like a good puzzle piece. Yeah. He's a hero yeah, from yeah. the green world. <laughs> <laughs> and and so they just, they need a hero. And he fits that. That's Arabesque, the Latin queen. <laughs> she specializes in dance, actually. So her name's Arabesque, mm -hmm. which is a form of dance to some people. <laughs> now her role in the story is every good form of story has an entertainer. Yeah. A bard, a minstrel, in this case we have a dancer. Her wings are very aerodynamic and it allows for good and better dancing. Aerodynamics in dancing is key. They don't teach you that in school. No, they don't. But I know. <laughs> Is that Baraka? No, he's got too many, like... Baraka doesn't have a yin-yang symbol, <laughs> necklace. Silly. All right, that's not Baraka. You know what he is? Ooh. He's the second member of the yin-yang twins. Yeah. They were famous in the early 2000s. They had a hit called... Uh... <laughs> they were buddies with Little John. <laughs> they had one that was like, yin-yang, we done done it again, so put it on the map like, hang. <laughs> And that's the lyric. That's the, I don't know how to spell it. Yeah. Aside from being an early 2000s rap sensation, this member of the Yin Yang Twins, he's the first member of the Yin Yang Twins, he is the businessman. He's a really eccentric businessman in that he really, he wears his name as a necklace. And not many people do that. And what's his name again? The first member of the Yin Yang Twins. <laughs> Did you ever give a name? It's on his birth certificate. I didn't name him. Uh, it's a robot. That's 11th hour. 
<laughs> in the future, which is when Mortal Kombat is, he invented... They invented him. The notion of uh, death or the Grim Reaper was played out. So the corporations teamed up and they wanted to make a, a robot who would be a real corporeal version of death. And they called him 11th Hour. Because in the 11th hour, you're praying for something. <laughs> His finishing move is easy. It just kills you. <laughs> that, but, it's, but it's the nature of the killing. It's up to him. How does he fit into the story? Well, the other ones, everybody else fake dies like a lot. Okay. Repeatedly. Okay. So he's the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> that, my friends, is... Armbar Annie. <laughs> Not to be confused with Armchair Armstrong, who's yeah. her father. They call her Armbar because she wears long, they look like soccer shin pads for children, but they're on here. She fits into the story like a glove. Her father owns the film company, which Johnny Quest works for, yeah, and yeah. whoever else the dancer works for. Sometimes. <laughs> when, <laughs> when the market says it's okay. But I mean, it, so she got in naturally. Nepotism. Mm -hmm. But also, she's a good worker. <laughs> Her finishing move is the big time blast. What is that? I've only read about it. <laughs> what she does is she breaks you down mentally. Mm. With a lot of insults. And by the end of the insults, you're on the ground crying, weeping. You're like, what am I good for? She goes, I'll tell you what you're good for. She brings you into the circus, uh, the big tent, which is where most of the big times are had. It's got room. It's got room for them. <laughs> and the blast, there's cannons in the circus, which everybody knows that. And so they get the biggest cannon, and she has the most fun with you, with the can. <laughs> you don't live. <laughs> That's Goro. I know Goro. <laughs> Goro's special move is really ugly. He brings you up with the bottom arms, shaking baby syndromes you, <laughs> and by the end you don't know what's what. He flips you up a couple times. Oh, he, no, what he does, it, the second part of his special move is he does like the little Caesar's arrow with yeah. you <laughs> until, you're, until your um, brain is in your, the opposite end of your body. Oh. He can spin you really quick. Forearms will do that. And how does he fit into the story? They found him outside Little Caesars. They were like, hey man, those forearms could be put to better use. And he said, I don't know how. That's, oh, that's um, Sindel? Let me put it this way. You wouldn't have s'mores without Sindel. Because <laughs> s'mores took, s'mores Pop-Tarts actually specifically, because they took heavy influence from her hair. Some say vice versa. I don't, because I know which came first. There's trademarks, and the patent office told me, and they can tell you. And I got nothing else to say about her, because she's, she's really famous, and if you don't know who she is, it's your problem. <laughs> How do you feel you're doing so far? Not well, as far as figuring out what's right. <laughs> oh, that looks like Orchid from Killer Instinct. This is a fake out. That's Orchid from Killer Instinct. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Some call that copying. Right? Ugh. If it's not working from Killer Instinct, it's Borkid from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> who is really clever. <laughs> What's her special move? Her special move is copyright infringement. <laughs> she takes your she takes your clothes, puts them on, she starts going to your meetings, at the and then by the end you don't know who you are, and then you're broke. Crab cheeseburger. <laughs> You have completed all 10 trials on Clueless Combat, and I'm here to let you know that the current champion, the artist formerly known as Mike Charles, who holds a record at five and five, is still the world champion. Whoa! As you have walked away with a record of three and seven, you, you've done the worst so far. My name is Craig Cheeseburger, and you watched Clueless Combat. I didn't do it. I'm Clueless.
You also said that Noob Saibot was a robot, and he is indeed not a robot. Which fucking one was Noob Saibot? Noob Saibot. His is... name has bot in it. He's not a bot. That's eleventh hour. <laughs> <laughs> noob Saibot is it a bot? I thought that's what I thought he was it's a noob. Dubai, and he was a cyborg. Backwards. Yeah, half right. sci, half bot. That's no. double bot. What is a sci? Like cyborg? Can I walk away from this sham? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>